Well, guys, commiserations. First game uh, was pretty tight and you were neck and neck with them for the majority. Second game, obviously, didn't go the way you would have wanted. What's your initial reflection on that one? Um, I'm really disappointed at the moment. I think, um, obviously, we love playing in here and I'm as disappointed for myself as I am for the crowd because I don't think we put on the best show there. I respect like, the second half of the second set, she must have had like a nine-point run on a serve, which just isn't great but we really struggled to sort of find the length and get the attack on that second end so we were always kind of on the back foot a little bit which is just disappointing um, like you say we, we did some really good stuff in the first set but I think there was probably five six maybe more really easy errors um, that just sort of cost us and I think the score was what 18 or 19 or something so um, that made a big difference um, so yeah just disappointing in it I think we, we wanted to do better for for ourselves and just especially here. In terms of that, you know, if an opponent sort of run like that where they get some like nine points in a row, you know, well, what do you do? Like, yes, okay, you can work on your own stuff, but sometimes do you have to hold your hands up and say, you know, they're just on one and there's only so much you can do? Yeah, absolutely. I think after the break in the first set, they changed the way that they were playing. And I think for the rest of the match, we really struggled to, to adapt to that. Um, I think we managed to stay with them, stay with them in that first set, but I don't think we were ever fully in control. And then they just continue pressing on that same that same style in the second and we just struggled to, um, to to get to the net first and ultimately we were always giving the attack away and eventually against top pairs like that they're going to get through you. Um, yeah, really disappointed but as you say, um, hats off to them, they played a really good match. Notice at the end, the long embrace, you know, we know, you know, how much the tournament means to you and, you know, how much your journey is, uh, you know, meant to each other respectively, you know, was there anything behind the long embrace? No, I think, you know, we, we probably don't, we don't know, you know, how, how long we'll be playing for. Um, we've both had our injury struggles over the last year or so, year or two, and um, we know every single tournament we go to, we don't know if it's going to be the last time we go there. Um, it may or may not be, um, but you know, every single time we step out on court at the moment, we want it to be um, something that we can be proud of. Uh, maybe that does put a little bit more pressure on ourselves, uh, unwanted pressure, but um, yeah. You know, we're, I think maybe that was, we're, we're not 100%, you know, nothing is 100%, and nothing is a given, but if that is the last time we were out on that court, I wanted to, to remember it in a, in a positive way. In terms of that, is it something you're just going to go away and, and reflect on, give yourselves time to decompress and, and see what the future holds? Yeah, for sure. Like Marcus says, it's nothing's set in stone. We haven't made any decisions. We're, we're playing because we love it, I think, um, and we still love it. And you can see that in the emotion of like the disappointment. If we weren't disappointed, you'd be like, well, I don't really care. And I think that's when you should be worried. Um, and maybe we care a little bit too much, especially in here. Um, but I think, you know, this past year has thrown a lot of challenges at us, personally, physically, badmintonly. Um, and we've kind of been dealing with that and going through it. And I think, especially recently, these past few months, we've really pulled together. And we've started playing well. We're having some good performances out there. We did last week. There was glimmers of it this week. Um, and I think that just gives us that sort of hunger and drive to go, oh God, we, we could do this, we could do more, we could be in the, the weekend. Um, and yeah, then, then it makes it even more disappointing because yeah, that expectation is there and we want so much from ourselves. Yeah. Talk about like the injuries and stuff, you know, you've both gone through so much, you know, across your careers. Uh, can you take some pride in the fact that, you know, even after all this time, everything you've both kind of gone through, you know, you're still here like doing your thing? Yeah, hey, definitely. I think we could have uh, packed up and gone home a long time ago, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, but you know, when in the last Olympics in Tokyo, we, you know, we both came off court and we said we, you know, we want to, we want to do this again. Uh, well, we want to try and do this again. Um, little did we know what was around the corner for us. Probably should have known once we got into our early thirties what was waiting. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's it's been, it's been really tricky. But you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't change a single thing that we've done. Um, and you know, I want, I want to I want to see it out to, to whenever that that's going to be. In terms of immediate future tournaments and stuff coming up, you know, what's next for you guys? We've got Swiss Open next week, yes. so a quick turnaround for that one. Um, we've actually got those guys first round, so I would like a bit of revenge. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, we certainly can put out a better performance consistently across the game. So I think going into next week, there's a lot for us to learn. Uh, and quite exciting to be able to kind of take that opportunity and then possibly Spain and then Europeans is a big one a uh, couple of what is it a month away now maybe yeah. um, so obviously 
really excited for that. We've been on the podium before and we want to be on the podium again. We know if, if we play well, if we play consistently well, we're absolutely capable of it. So that's how we're sort of focused right now. Um, take care of ourselves through, through this month and put on a good show in Highland.